So here I'm going to use the Jets uh, GL function wizard to let me get the net change on a sp specific account. So the first four options are the key ones for us here. The other ones are more advanced options, which we can go into on, on a, a future video. The first four, what we've got is one of four options. We can return the balance on that account or set of accounts, the budget for that set of accounts, the credits total or the debits total. So I want the balance. And what I want is our cleaning account, 8110. Now you see when I hit tab, it adds it to the right hand side. So values that have been accepted as valid entries will get put in this gray area on the right hand side. Um, I'm working with demo data, so I'm going to go that I want the values that have been added to this account in well in between the dates of 1st of January 2018 to the end of January 2018. So I can type it in directly in quotation marks or use the date picker and scoot across January the 31st and it inserts that for me. So what's the balance? So I want the net change on this account between these two dates. When I say OK, it gives me that figure. To just double check that in nav, here's the chart of the accounts. I'm going to use the advanced filter to make it a bit easier to work with. So let's have a look at the accounts within the 8000 to 8999 range. Here's the accounts, there's the cleaning account I'm working with. At the moment, net change and balance are the same, so I'm going to add a limit total, so give me a, a flow filter, be a date filter, give it the dates, so 010118 up to the end of January 2018. When I hit tab or enter, you see it's applied that and give me the net change on all the accounts, but I'm particularly focusing on the account 8110, the cleaning account. So my figures match. 